So I decided to renovate my whole house in just over a week. In hindsight, it was a bit of a dumb idea. Good morning. Well, it is already feeling like it is gonna be a scorcher today here on the property. So let's get our newly air conditioned room up and running. Beautiful. I'm gonna shut that door up, Jake. Come on. No. <laughs> wow, you almost just saw a biffo between these two. Now, before we jump straight into the renos, it has been two days since I saw you last. Here is a quick recap of essentially what's gone down. I bought this property six months ago and admittedly, I bought it much more for the land itself than the cabin. I have five acres here. It's my dream, it's paradise. I wanted to make it into this little off-grid oasis. However, despite having a building inspection saying that there was nothing wrong with the cabin, the ceilings are all asbestos. Half the walls are asbestos. I found a huge amount of termite damage as well as a lot of asbestos all through the house including the roof. I had all the asbestos ripped out, I rebuilt the roof myself with the help from a couple of friends. It took three weeks, was obviously expensive and I wouldn't have done it if I planned on knocking the cabin down. However, I continue to find more and more issues with this cabin and it's really getting to the point where I had to admit to myself and then in the last video to all of you that I'm now considering knocking the cabin down. So what I've decided to do in the interim is a very quick renovation on this place. I want to transform it in just over a week because I have people coming to cabin sit in January. It's already been a few days so I am running short on time. I am also going to break down exactly how much this renovation costs so you can see how much of a transformation can happen on a pretty tight budget. And I have a little bit of mixed emotions about today because I'm excited because we have a special guest coming, actually maybe two, and I'm hoping they're gonna be able to give me a hand with these renos to get them knocked out in time. But also it means that today's the last day I'm gonna be the main caretaker for Jake and he's really just slotted in so well here on the property. Buddy, look how many sticks there are in this place and you bring me this. All right, Oc, should we show them? All right, let me give you a quick update to show you where we're currently at. So all of this is ready to go. I've plasterboarded the kitchen as well. As a lot of you already saw, the master bedroom has had a little glow up and is almost ready for trim and painting. Then we have the storage room. This is gonna be the second bedroom and it is ready to go as well. Whew. And ironically, the only room that I haven't finished with the drywall is the room that I started on. All right, as much as I don't want to, let's start with finishing off this office space so I can start to clear out all the leftover drywall and materials. I cut you bloody short. This is the story of my last couple of days. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Do you like Oki's little uh, addition to the wall here? Now, it's just time to pack up all the mess. Then we can start cleaning, getting ready for trim and paint. Easy, easy. Okay. <laughs> so Charlie, my electrician, has just messaged me. He was booked in for Friday in a couple of days to come and fit off a lot of the lights and the fans. 
obviously would make this place feel a lot more finished and he's saying his car engine's just blown up and that he is not going to be working for the next few days which means we're out of time unfortunately for an electrician bugger with all the plasterboarding now finally up and done i'm now in my trim era and you'll notice with the door trim some of them like these obviously don't have it but then a lot of them actually do have the trim it does make it look a lot nicer even for a temporary build it really just makes everything look a lot more finished especially once it's all painted and it's not that much extra cost so i'll just work out how much i need this one obviously needs a trim and um you probably shouldn't throw stones not the only thing around here needing a trim so quick trip to bunnings and uh we're back at it well, probably didn't need a trailer for that load. And uh, let's see how the diggity dogs did inside the air condition room, huh? Hello, you two. Hey. Hello. How'd you go? Who's that? Who's that, I'm back! Simon's back! Hello! Hey everyone, this is Ren, Simon's partner. Hi. So Simon and Ren have been away from Jake for two months and I was just filling them in saying that he has been almost, perfect, almost the perfect dog. I've been holding something back from them to, to show them once they got here in person. Jake's no. running away. He knows. I think he knows. So Simon, I'm planning on showing you this when you're here next. Day two of looking after Jake. <laughs> Everyone, want to have a quick little look at what's going on on my bed? Jake did it in the middle of the bed. We didn't bake cookies. <laughs> I'm so <Wow>. sorry. <laughs> that doesn't even look. Jake. <laughs> that doesn't even, what, what was that? Well, while Simon and Ren are just setting up back in the position Simon parked at last time, quick reminder for anyone who's not sure who Simon is. Simon is the absolute legend landscaper. He helped me build all the foundations for the van deck spent four days here of his own time and could not be more grateful for him now he's offered to help me with getting this done because he knows i'm in a time crunch how's the setup moved in already i like it yeah yeah you guys just live here now right <laughs> pretty much rent free i heard I heard you moved out of sydney yeah it's hustle and bustle yeah Well, we have the whole team at it and it's already making a big difference, but have a look how much of a difference, speaking of big one, that trim makes to the door. Such a quick change up. Beautiful, Simon. And then Ren will come and fill these little holes in no time. I feel like I have put Simon and Ren enough to work for the first night. <laughs> I am so grateful to them for coming, helping me out. See you guys in the morning. We're gonna have a beer. He lives. Hello. How are we feeling this morning? How's the cold? Yeah. On the up? Yeah. How good. Do you reckon you appreciate it more because you were instrumental in building this deck as oh, well? Oh, that's nice of you. Too. Ah, mate, couldn't have happened without you. Here's your coffee, sir. No, no, no worries. Well, the crew is already back hard at work and what it definitely is time for 
Simon, you've already had AD1, haven't you? Yeah, we had it heaps. Simon had it when we were building the deck and uh, loved it, of course. But Ren, is this your first time? It will be, yes. Well, it's more important than ever timing to look after your health because coming into the holiday season, we all tend to slip up a little bit. And with that, I want to take a quick minute to thank AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Let's whip it up for these guys. The holidays doesn't just mean sometimes my diet slips. It also often adds a little bit of stress to my life as I'm rushing to get everything completed in time. I find AG1 really helps with my mood balance because of the vitamins, minerals, and adaptogens in there. They help to store to balance the nervous system and yeah, just keep those stress levels down a little bit. And that's one of the big reasons I take it every single day. Make sure you give them a good shake. It has now been over a year and a half of drinking AG1 every day and honestly, I can't imagine my morning routine without it anymore. Let's see what these guys think. Here you go, sir. Ooh, <laughs> double. And that one's especially important for you right now. A bit of immune defense. There's yeah. a lot of good antioxidants in that bad boy, including zinc, citrus, and bioflavonoids. So that should, that should help. Get, get that into you and Ren, here you go. Now, as this is your first one, always interested on people's take on the taste. Well, that was really easy. Easy? <laughs> nice, yeah. It's got a pineapple flavour that I really like. This is the perfect time to also give it a go for yourself. Simon, what are we going to get if we head to the link in the description? You're going to get a uh, year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2. Plus five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Check it out. We're going to get back into it. And now we're going to be buzzing with energy. Let's do it. Woo! I want the dream life with some our game plan is essentially once this space is all trimmed up, we are going to start giving it a clean and covering everything because then this pretty much half of the house can start to be painted. Yep. What do you say? Just loving the ride, yeah. I love it. So you know those little side quests that you don't really have time for when you're trying to renovate a whole house in a week? Well, this is one of them. I've been using this as just a kind of shoe storage box, but this was actually my great grandma's and I figure it can be the centerpiece coffee table and um, yeah, save me some dollars as well as bring a bit of family feel into the home. Nice. Yeah. Woo. It's funny, I feel like you keep thinking it's about time to paint and then there's another job to do. Honestly, I don't think I could have done it without these guys because we are still scrubbing the walls. But like they often say with paintwork, prep is key. And I actually feel like this is coming up really nice to the point that I kind of wished I didn't cut corners early on because I think it's going to be a real vibe in here. What do you reckon, Simon? Yeah, it's very unlike you to cut corners as well. For starters, people might come at me for using plasterboard in the kitchen in a wet area. That was because it was going to be temporary. Now we're probably going to tile that. But I've also just left this termite damage as a bit of a homage to uh, how it was when I moved in. And I'm hoping maybe some kitchen cabinetry is going to go over that or at least a painting or something. Jake, are you wearing a little hat? Thank you, sir. So Simon and I were having a bit of a debate. Uh, a <laughs> friendly debate. Yeah. Because a lot of this interior is gonna be white, partly through ease of, you'll see, it's gonna get sprayed. But Simon thinks that we should keep this brick raw. I think we should paint it white. I've asked Ren to weigh in, she thinks we should paint it white. Everyone's against me. What do you reckon? Is Simon right or am I right? And Merry Christmas, everybody. And just to show you how well sealed it is, I mean, you can't see much in that room because that's completely sealed. Started to all around the skirts. And then the windows are all covered. We're actually going to paint the door at the same time. So the door's ready to go. And um, I think painting's going to wait till the morning. It's 6.30. It's probably time for a drink and definitely some dinner. Hey, bud. See you in the morning.
All right, Simon. It's finally time. Let's do it. Oh, do you have two? <laughs> Sorry, only one. Oh. So while Simon stirs the paint there, it is exciting to be finally ready to roll. So much as you've seen is in the prep. I'm hoping we can do this whole half of the house spray wise in probably just over an hour. We'll see. One last little pre-paint before. We're gonna start with the storage room. It matters a hell of a lot less than anything else yeah. and uh, give it a go. No one cares about the storage room. Here he goes. He's going wish, in. Wish me luck. Oh. How's it going? <laughs> it's tricky in here because we've got the extender on, I can't get quite get the distance. Should be alright. It's making such a difference already, although we've got the fan going to try and get a bit of ventilation because it's Done. Oh boy. Coat one on you. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. Did you manage to get any on the, on the walls? Yeah. I think I got a bit, but might need a little break before coat two. Oh, and you may have noticed Simon has won out in the end. We've agreed to uh, leave the bricks exposed for a bit. I think it's a good call. Breaks up all the white. Well, I'm ready for round two and I realized I was pretty silly before because I forgot that I actually had this proper respirator mask, which is going to be way better. For me. And I'll um, see you on the other side. Well, I'm gonna be very, very glad when this is all done, but how nice is it gonna to be to come home to after a little Christmas break? Simon. Yo. Where are we heading now? Back to Bunnings. And? Uh, and furniture. Yeah. And then we're gonna get some pizza. Legs don't Legs. come flying. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. This guy. Yes, sir. Thanks, mate. Buon appetit. Huh? Your shout. <laughs> got to pay my workers something, you know. Yum. What have we got? Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Just putting on the Age of Empires soundtrack for Pizzas and Catan. You know you're jealous. Day six, round two. Let's do it. I don't think I ever want to paint again. 
Let there be night. Boom. Now, hopefully, this is going to be a pretty satisfying part because um, we need to steal some of the floor coverings and we figure it's time to open up this living room. I have no doubt that our cover slash paint job won't be perfect. At some point, I plan on polishing up these floorboards for sure and um, hopefully they'll clean up for now because we definitely don't have time for that in this week. Simon, do you want to do the honours of taking first window covering off? Oh, even though they're kind of clear, it, you can already just feel the light come in and I can't wait for the other ones for the breeze. Come in light, come in air. Windows yeah. bricks pop. Yeah. Get in the comments. Who was right? Yeah, good call Simon. Good call. Nice. You're nice. nice. The moment of truth. Oh, is, it's just water. Is the floor gonna clean up? <laughs> kind of looks like paint. Pretty keen to sand these floors, yeah? Uh, might not have a choice, eh? Nice. That was always the plan. <laughs> Be gone. And who always has to save the day? Ryobi. I'm so glad you pick up on what I'm putting down. <laughs> Ryobi! Ryobi! We are finally we are finally up to the final coat. Thank God. Almost six days in and I'm pretty damn tired. Ready for, for this to be done. But um, gonna be well worth it in the end. After six days, I am finally done with painting. <sighs> Feels bloody good. Tomorrow, we have tomorrow just to get all the furniture, potentially a kitchen if we can, but I'm aware I'm out of time. Tomorrow is our last day. I'm just gonna get it as far as I can and cannot wait to show you all the end result. I think I'm gonna check in with the grand reveal. Well, we have bloody done it. It has been just over seven days and we have transformed this house from what was pretty much a building site into something that I actually really want to live in now. If this was budget block renos, I think we would have won. You can see Oki is already keen for me to give you the tour. But before we jump inside, a couple of quick disclaimers for anyone wondering about the bathroom in here or the lack thereof. Most of you will know that I have a beautiful outdoor shower and also a beautiful outdoor toilet that are two of my favorite things on this property and they're gonna do me just fine whilst I figure out what's going on with the cabin. Disclaimer number two is we have completely run out of time so I wasn't able to fully furnish every room off Facebook Marketplace. There just wasn't that many bargains going and I didn't wanna fill the space with junk. So that's something that can wait but it is definitely guest ready. It is actually Christmas Eve Eve here today and Christmas in Australia might look a bit different than for a lot of you. It's pretty hot today, but both Simon and Ren and I need to go and see our families and that is why this video probably won't get up to you until towards the end of 2023. With that being said, let's go in. I am so excited to show you this because I absolutely love this space. All right, well, we might have to wake up Oki Boy to come inside. And I think it only makes sense that we remind you with some of the before shots. Now, just remember, these before shots were taken just over a week ago. Guys. Welcome home. Wow.
This is already my favorite space. Little reference, picked up these two couches for 250. The coffee table was my great grandma's and I've restored that one. The table these two are sitting at, 150 bucks for the table and two chairs. And I wanna say while we're in this room, honestly, there is no way in hell I would have got this done without these two, so. Happy to be here, dude. Guys, I, <laughs> I cannot thank them enough. Please give them some love in the comments. And if you need a landscaper, yeah. Best Mates Landscaping. If you need a records keeper, <laughs> a document controller, nice. hit Ren up. For the kitchen, we have reused what I already had. It's still a little makeshift, but I really like it. It suits your style. It suits the style. And then here is our little feature wall that is all pretty much for Oki at this stage, but I am thinking maybe a projector coming down from the top and a little day bed in that area. And now let's move on from what is definitely my new favorite space. And we'll take the scenic route to what is my new bedroom. I've decided I'm moving in here. I actually couldn't resist and slept in here last night because this room has come up an absolute treat. I am so in love with this space. And then onto the storage room. You all remember what of a disaster of a room this was. And now it is very functional. It's gonna have all my surfboards in here. And uh, yeah, just a bit of storage because this house doesn't have too much. And then we have the second bedroom and you can just see how much of a change making it a nice lighter white color from that yellow has been. It's come up beautifully. And finally, into my new office space. Look at the views I get from the office. I cannot begin to start with how stoked I am on how this has come up. I cannot believe that a week ago, this was complete building site that was pretty unsafe really for anyone to stay in whereas now I feel comfortable that my guests are going to be stoked here and so am I and honestly I feel like this is all I need. I'm just going to enjoy this space for now and I want to say a huge huge thank you not just to Simon and Ren but also to all of you guys. I actually finally mounted this bad boy which has been a long time coming. And with that, yeah, I want to say a thank you to all of you because a lot of people congratulate me for getting these things done all on my own. But the truth is I don't do it on my own. I have had so many friends and family help me out with my projects this year, but also all the support I get online from all of you and encouragement, positive comments. It honestly makes a huge difference and couldn't do it at the end of the day. I couldn't do it without of all of you. So thank you so much. I hope you have had a wonderful holiday period and whether you're surrounded by loved ones or you've done it solo this year, I hope that you've managed to still have a good time. And if not, 2024 is just around the corner and I feel like it's gonna be a great year. Thank you so much for watching. Please be kind to yourself, be kind to one another. I am actually gonna be taking a little bit of a break and I'm not gonna be back till February, so I will see you all then. And I almost forgot to mention the total cost for the whole house renovation, including walls, paint, trim, two couches, a dining table, a rug, a lamp, all in total, 2,500 bucks, which I think is pretty bloody good for how much this space has changed. We'll also see these guys in 2024. You see me. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy New Year. For the next project. And these guys have earned a lifetime of stays in the cabin and I hope they come back as soon as possible. All right, see you guys. <laughs> you enjoying that Ock? That's the split. Say goodbye to everyone Ock. We'll see you in 2024.